Well, again, what up, world? Top of the motherfucking morning. Well, actually, it's what? It's not morning. <laughs> My stupid ass. It's 12.39. Good afternoon, motherfuckers. It's time for another real life shit with your boy, L.A. Now, to all the Spurs fans out there and then to all the fans out there of other teams, Let me give y'all some uh some a little history on Kawhi Leonard and the player that's gonna take his spot on our squad. And he's not gonna start right away. I think what they're gonna do is start Rudy Gay and then implement my boy into the starting lineup throughout the season. That way It'll give us a, a for sure, a for sure threat. Cause we gonna, we gonna end up trading quite a cause he ain't gonna play for us. But well, at this point in time, we don't even want him no more because of the way he can handle shit, man. Like, like dude soft, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just really starting to see that shit. Like, this a bunch of whiny, whiny baby shit that he done did, man. So my thing is here. When I went and looked at, I went and, I, I watched Quiet Man, you know, I, I rooted I rooted him on. I said he was going to be, you know what I'm saying, uh, one of the best motherfucking small forwards in the game. But I also know his weaknesses. I'm going to tell you about a motherfucker that's finna take his place that's going to be better than Quiet Leonard. A lot of y'all not going to agree with me right now because y'all stuck on Kawhi Leonard. I'm not. I'm not stuck on him. You know what I'm saying? I say let the motherfucker go. At first, you know what I'm saying, I thought this was all some bullshit. And I'm thinking, like, they can reconcile the shit. You know what I'm saying? But the way he been acting, I don't want nobody on the Spurs squad like that, bro. I want motherfuckers that want to be there that's ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Because even if he play, he's not going to give us 100%. So... Get him up out of there, man. I'm ready for the next chapter. You know what I'm saying? Quiet Leonard's career was built in San Antonio, man. It's 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 not going to be the same when he goes to another team. So let him go. You 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 flourished in a system, partner. You know what I'm saying? You first you flourished in a system where Popovich had to go get extra outside help from another per, another player from another squad by the name of Kobe Bryant. To help you out with your offense, to help him out with his offensive game. Hmm. Quilena came into the league, we had to work him in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <clears throat> we had to work him into the system because he had no offensive game, man. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't shoot for a lick, like his shot was not, not, not good. Um, his defense was all he had for real. He can get to the rim pretty good. But let me tell you some things where he lacked that. Where I say this boy Blossom game is going to be better than Quiet Leonard. And it's on the truth, man. Uh, first of all, y'all got to understand that Quiet Leonard, he came straight in. Okay? He came straight in and he started playing in the NBA. He didn't even get a chance to go to the D-League. So, y'all got to understand that in some of the practices, Blossom Gang has practiced against Kawhi Leonard. I want y'all to understand that, okay? So, last year, they ran practices together all season. You dig? Kawhi Leonard and Blossom Gang, they was on the practice, you know, doing the practice uh, 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 drills. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, I went and looked at uh, Kawhi's game coming out of college. I looked at Blossom Games coming out of college. Blossom Gang has the better upside coming out of college, man, than Quad do. 
they averaged around the same point. I think quite, I mean, uh, uh, Blossom game was averaging about 17, 17, 16 points a game where Kawhi was averaging like 14, some, you know, some a game, uh, his rebounds was not, his rebounding wasn't that good, even in the league. Kawhi averaged like six, what, five to six rebounds a game. Right now, this boy in the in the D League, man, is averaging at least eight rebounds a game, man. Okay? get the, Let that sink in. He got a quick-ass little shot, and his shot is already developed. You see what I'm saying? Like, and it's going to get better. That's the scary thing. Like, he has a better shot coming out of college than Kawhi Leonard did coming out of college. And plus, he has had the chance to go to the D. This is his second year in the D League. So he had a chance to really learn the Spurs way, you know what I'm saying, through the D League, getting extra work. And he only had to he had to do that because of you know with Kawhi Leonard being on the team because he really wasn't gonna get no clock like that you know what I'm saying because we had Rudy Gay you know and uh, we had, uh who else we had another small forward um yeah Kyle Anderson so he really wasn't gonna get no clock you know right uh, uh in his rookie season. So his rookie season, he worked, man. He worked and he worked hard. He balled out last season, rebounding, scoring, uh, playing defense. Man, the dude doing it, everything. And the difference, the main difference is this boy, her. Man. So this boy, her. This boy, what's up? So Shit. This, the, uh, this boy here, his all around game is better than Kawhi Leonard's. So that's what y'all gotta understand, man. That his game is much improved versus Kawhi Leonard's first year in in uh in the NBA. So now this boy ain't got work. So now y'all gonna see him, um, y'all gonna see him really blossom like his last name in the NBA. Watch what I tell you, man. Just understand, man, blossom game is gonna be better than Kawhi Leonard. Watch what I tell you.